Nice to meet you all. I'm Dr. Devdas, professor of English. And I'd like to begin my talk with an overview of the English language. The study of English begins at the school level, but it never ends. It is the preferred medium of international communication. Today, the world is interlinked through this language. English has a very vast vocabulary and most books are written in English all over the world. Therefore, the knowledge, especially scientific knowledge, is available throughout the world in English. The vast vocabulary in English helps one to bring out the subtle shades of meaning, difference in the meaning or to distinguish between words such as home and house which is unavailable in certain other languages. Therefore, I would request everyone, especially the professionals, to learn English, rather master English as a skill and use it as a tool for success in your career. In English grammar, we have two different kinds of voice. The first one is called the active voice, the second one the passive. It is the verb in a sentence that determines whether the sentence is in the active or in the passive voice. If the verb tells something about the subject or whether the subject does something, then it means that this sentence is in the active voice. For example, they submitted the report. This sentence is said to be in the active voice because the verb denoted by it tells that something is done by the subject of the sentence. A sentence is in the passive voice when its verb form shows that something is done to the subject. For example, the report was submitted by them. In this sentence, the verb shows that this sentence is in the passive voice because something is done to the subject. The method of conversion from the active to the passive has certain principles or steps involved. When we look at a sentence given in the active voice and which has to be converted into the passive voice, we first take up or break the sentence given into its subject, verb and object. In this sentence we have the active sentence, they submitted the report. Here, they is the subject, submitted is the verb and we find out the object of the sentence by asking the question what or whom on the verb. They submitted what? The answer to that question would be the report. Therefore, this becomes the object of the sentence. Now, in order to convert into the passive voice, we will also have to take into consideration the verb used, especially the tense of the verb used in the active voice, because the same tense has to be carried out in the passive voice also. In this particular sentence, they submitted the report. The verb is in the simple past tense. Therefore, the same simple past tense has to be used when the sentence is converted into its passive. Therefore, when we convert, we find that the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive, followed immediately by the verb. 
in the same tense as it is given in the active voice then the sentence is completed by adding the agent by whom it is done or the subject in the active voice therefore when we take up the conversion from the active to the passive the first step that one has to do is find out the subject verb and object of the sentence the next step is to look at the verb at the tense of the verb used in the active voice the third step is to use the object of the active voice as the subject of the passive voice immediately followed by the verb and then the agent of the active voice the tense however cannot be changed the pattern of the passive voice is noun or pronoun plus verb plus the complement or adjunct plus the agent we talked about the simple past tense let us talk about the past perfect also in this active sentence the verb is said to be in the past perfect tense when it is converted into the passive the same has to be followed therefore we say the report had been submitted by them when we convert from the past perfect into the passive we will also have to take care of the auxiliary additions that has to be made to the verb in this sentence we have they had submitted the report as active whereas the passive form the report had been submitted by them similar examples can be given for the present tense and the simple future in this sentence the simple present tense is used they submit the report today the passive construction could be the report is submitted by them the same tense has to be used in both the cases we move on to the present perfect tense and its usage this sentence is in the present perfect tense they have submitted the report the passive construction in the passive construction the auxiliary verb is added the report has been submitted by them so that the same tense is kept alive in the passive construction also 
the next one is the future tense. They will submit the report. The simple future tense is used in this active construction. The passive form of the same sentence would be, the report will be submitted by them. The same tense has to be kept up even in the passive construction. The next one will be the use of the future perfect tense. We have the active, future, perfect construction. They will have submitted the report. In the passive form, the answer will be, the report would have been submitted by them. These are the methods of conversion from the active to the passive. Looking at the impersonal passive voice, which is very important from the technical writing point of view we have the example for example in the active voice we have the sentence an operator can cut many screws on a lathe here the subject of the sentence is an operator the verb in the sentence is can cut and the object of the sentence is many screws on a lathe many screws many screws. When this is converted into the passive voice, the answer would be Many screws can be cut on a lathe by an operator. But then, in, the, in technical writing, usually the agent is omitted and the sentence is given an impersonal form. Therefore, the impersonal active sentence would be the impersonal passive construction would be Many screws can be cut on a lathe. The agent by an operator is usually avoided. But in all cases, the passive construction pattern remains the same as noun or pronoun plus verb plus the complement or the adjunct of the sentence. Especially when we use the imperative form of construction of the active voice, the same can also be, cons can be converted into the passive in two ways. Let us look at such an example. The, ac the active construction is do not tell a lie. This sentence is in the imperative form, which means that it gives a kind of instruction or an order. This can also be, cons 
can be converted into the passive form using the same method as was done earlier to convert any active sentence into the passive. Here the verb is do. The verb is do not. The object is The subject you is implied, although it is not written down in the sentence. The verb of this active construction is do not tell. And the object of this sentence is a lie. This can also be converted into the passive form, especially the impersonal passive form, by using the same method as was done to convert from the active to the passive. Therefore, the answer will be a lie should not be told. Another method of writing this passive construction is Let a lie not be told. That is how the imperative sentences can also be converted from the active to the passive form. Thank you. The same method of conversion can be used to change from the passive to the active. Here we have the passive construction, the gate is opened by the pune. The same method is used to convert from the passive to the active where we don't make use of any additions to the auxiliary verbs. Therefore we say the pune opened a gate. If the tense varies naturally all the active voice sentences also will carry the same tense of the previous or the sentence in the passive voice. Now moving on, let us look, go into the exercise and have a few examples of conversion from the active into the impersonal passive voice. We have five sentences on the board. He welded the plates together, which has the simple past tense as the verb. Next one, she is writing a letter here. The tense used is the present continuous. The third one, the boys are flying kites. Here also, the simple present tense is used, but be careful when you convert it into the passive, because Flying is such a verb which changes its pattern in the passive voice. The next sentence is in the past perfect tense, they had prepared dinner. And the last one is an imperative sentence which has, which can also be converted into the passive. That's it. Thank you.